wrestling fans, thanks for clicking on the Dreaded D. Rose Report. Better get started before somebody calls on the phone, comes in. My predictions of uh, the NXT, I got a feeling it's going to be uh, Justin Gabriel and Daniel Bryan. We'll throw that out right now. You know, one thing I told you on yesterday's report about the uh, WWE stopping the steel uh, chair shots and all that. Boy, don't worry about it. We still got the steel steps, don't we? Yeah, we can do some head smashing with that. I wonder if we go stop the turnbuckle and all that. I don't know. There's a lot of repercussions on that. Uh, watch uh, <laughs> TNA now pick up all kinds of chairs and be hitting people over the head with it. Anyway. Replay of Monday nights. Uh, oh, believe it or not, reason one reason TNA doesn't know what to do is because I th believe their home channel, uh, uh, Spike TV, they don't know what to do. They're going to now, and they had a movie scheduled to, to play tonight when uh, you know Sp uh, Impact's usually on. Now they're going to take the movie off, and they are going to replay Monday's uh, Impact after a regular time slot on uh, uh, Spike. So. I don't know what the deal is. Said the large number of viewers to watch uh, Impact replay uh, last week went to Spike and wanted to re-air the show again tonight. So who knows? But anyway, it's on the night. By the way, if you missed uh, missed Monday or didn't tape it or uh, erased it, uh, whatever, uh, it's on. The strike. Oh, by the way, when you watch it tonight. Flair has always been known to pick on people in the front row. He talked to some fat guy. He always go, hey, fat boy, you know, whatever. And uh, but anyway, uh, AJ Styles was doing that, and there was a there was a fat guy down there in a uh, blue t-shirt, looked like. And Flair then cracked his head open. He was bleeding and stuff, and he was uh, went over to that fat guy. Now they cut this out of the the area, the show, you know, the one that's on the air. But anyway, he took his blood like this and flung it at the guy. And when they showed Flair walking away from the corner where that guy was, uh, that guy was kind of going, <laughs> he was going this way. <laughs> he got, but anyway, Flair got in trouble backstage. Uh, Dixie got all over him, or somebody did, for doing that to the, to the uh, fat boy. And he was. He was, couldn't help it. Anyway, Strike Force MMA promotion has announced that Bobby Lashley's 5 0, zero will fight at the Upcoming Strike Force at Nashville show slated for April 17th, 2010, at Bridgestone uh, Arena in Nashville, Tennessee. No opponent's been named yet, uh, so hell, he should win. According to the Heavy Donuts match, anyway, according to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Shawn Michaels is uh, given a strong indication uh, to friends that he really does plan to retire following this year's WrestleMania. I think he's done that a few times, though, but I hope he don't. While retirements in wrestling is hard, uh, you know, to take seriously when uh, speaking about the situation that appears, Michaels is at least maintaining the fact that he sees himself walking away from the ring in the near future. Vince, write that check. He'll be back. Both Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker, they were originally expected to take several months off prior to... Uh, uh, their event at WrestleMania Battle, presumably returning at SummerSlam. Uh, latest word from Michaels, however, indicates that he might uh, contemplate of hanging up the boots for good, but uh, at least longer than the, the few months you know from before. Some skeptical uh, that he will you know really retire, believe could end up at returning to the Royal Rumble uh, 2011 or WrestleMania 27. That's a couple of the big paydays during the year. And believe it or not, when you're off and not wrestling uh, and you don't have that income coming in, you can go through some money quick if you've got a nice little mansion to live in. High rent. It should be noted that Michael's plans to take time off should not necessarily be viewed as a sign that he will uh, lose the match. Most believable, WWE will uh, preserve Taker's winning streak, though, but... Uh, because the outcome appears to be so obvious, WWE might do some sort of a swerve to the finish where maybe he won't return. I mean, uh, won't retire, and Taker won't win. There could be a way around that. This week, a photo has been added to FCW's homepage of Jimmy and Jules Uzo uh, holding the Florida Tag Team belts. As of last Thursday, March 11th, Joe Henning and Brett DiBiase they were the champions, and it appears that Uzo's 
uh, won the belts at a live event in Crystal River, Florida on uh, March 13th. Uh, I'll give you an update uh, you know, later after the taping, I guess. Wrestling Observer Newsletter says again. Well, they ain't said it again. For the first time, they've said that uh, the segment where Sting kept beating on Rob Van Dam with a baseball bat on March 8th, Impact, was not planned to go as long as it did, which I thought was kind of stretched out a little bit too long. Uh, but it's uh, been said that Hogan was slow in doing the run-in, so Sting had to improvise. But uh, apparently that's not entirely correct. TNA uh, scripted a certain moment where Hogan would uh, do the run-in in the early part of the uh, second hour based on minute-by-minute -minute breakdown of the January 4th impact when viewership peaked. But the problem came uh, when the segment in the first hour ran short and they had to stretch things out and uh, going into the second hour. Sting, kept, uh, Sting wasn't supposed to uh, take out the referee either, by the way, on the ramp, or uh, go back into the ring, but uh, he had to kill some time because he was sent to the ring too, uh, too early for the match, I guess based on the breakdown they had scripted. Technical crap. Can't believe anything was even scripted. Tickets for uh, WWE's Over uh, the Limits pay-per-view on May 23rd in Detroit, Mission go on sale via Ticketmaster pre-sale. The code, if you want to get some tickets uh, in a little bit early, WWE, pay, well, PPV, pay-per-view. WWE PPV, that's the code for the ticket buyer. This week's episode of uh, NXT on Sci-Fi scored a 0 0.9 cable rating with about 11, uh, well, 1,162,000 uh, viewers. I still say you'd be better off and a lot cheaper and the stockholders would probably even love you more because you're not spending ex any extra money is to put the old Gorilla Monsoon uh, uh, primetime wrestling thing on there with Bobby Heenan. Those were good shows. Shoot, we'll watch them. And we'll probably maybe even get you a little higher than uh, 1.0 on it. Or WCW and just let them go. You know, part one, one week, part two, the next week because it was a two hour show on uh, Nitros and uh, Thunder, whatever. Uh, we noted before that uh, George George would be inducted at all Hall of Fame this coming year by his 96 year old wife, Betty uh, Wagner. George will actually be inducted by Dick the Destroyer Bear, who feuded with uh, Anna, uh, George. Uh, uh, towards the end of his career. Betty Wagner will be given the acceptance speech award. Please make a note of it. Reed Flair, by the way, son of Nature Boy, he is expected to be uh, at some of the upcoming TNA Impact shows and tapings. Uh, unknown whether he's going to be brought in as a wrestler or just coming in to uh, get the crap beat out of him. Might be. Uh, oh, i got about two minutes left. Top talent in TNA right now are... Uh, not getting their interview scripted by the creative. Uh, guys like Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, uh, Ken Anderson have all been given bullet points to get across but aren't uh, told what to do uh, and or are told what to do and when they want it to do. Just uh, make sure you get those points across. So they just kind of let them wander, I guess, with the speak. TNA and Spike TV decided to air an impact uh, replay on Thursday uh, after all, but uh, don't know whether it's going to be a permanent deal or not. If it gets uh, close to a 1.0, I, I think they'll keep it on on Thursday. Ric Flair is telling people that uh, he he's having more fun working as a heel in TNA than he has for years because he loves being a top heel. Flair still thinks he can uh, have one more world-class match with Kurt Angle. I think he'd be all close to it. would be a pretty good match. WWE is going to be in Los Angeles for a SummerSlam this year. As noted, uh, the current plan is to also run Raw tonight uh, at, in L.A. right after that. Right now, WWE talent both on Raw and SmackDown are being told to prepare for work both on Raw and SmackDown after WrestleMania in Phoenix and Las Vegas. Uh, maybe I got another uh, thing here. Hogan uh, was in tremendous pain after last week's TNA Impact taping. He uh, iced his back for a long time. Hogan's been protecting his back in the ring. Only did a few bumps, uh, but still is hurting real bad. Right now, Hogan's not expected to wrestle anytime soon, but could always change. Things change, never say never, except I'm about ready to run out of nine minutes, 45 seconds. I gotta go.